Yes? Uh, as I said, I was trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. The Chantry raised me. And becoming a Templar was a decision made for me a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy and figured my training against mages could double for fighting Darkspawn. Now, here I stand, a proud Grey Warden. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'll always be grateful to him. It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the Chantry. I spent years in that Chantry, hopelessly resigned to my fate. Duncan was the first person who cared what I wanted. He risked a lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric to help me. Or maybe he just happens to be a good man. What about? So I imagine, what would you like to know? King Marek, Kaelin's father, reaffirmed the power the Grey Wardens were given during the Blights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. The King's given us a position of honor at the vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Kaelin is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of Weisselp's fortress? The great airy carved into the white cliffs far off in Neanderthals? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept their griffins. The griffins died out, however, and our numbers have dwindled since the last blight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. Darkspawn threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. You want to ask me about something else? Of course. You want the Chantry's version or the truth? The truth is we don't really know. They come up from the ground. And that's as far as we've gotten. Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Darkspawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large Darkspawn raid without an Archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the Archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. The old gods were dragons, so the stories say. Big ones. Intelligent, even. The Tevinter Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The Archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the Last Blight. People decided they were gone for good. They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the Dwarven Kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. Of course. We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, 
The most famous Grey Warden leader, Garahel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat at the Battle of Aesli to end the Last Blight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn flee back underground. The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the dark spawn when they come. You'll understand after the joining, if you... S well, you'll understand. Not to mention people start to notice when dark spawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just a guess. Thousands, tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. You want to ask me about something else? Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man, a good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? That sounds familiar. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tan Loghain we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. The Tan is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favors us Grey Wardens. But I know who's keeping the lid on the pot. You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the King. I don't know if you'll be with them. We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds, the eye of the Blight Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. I'm sure Tern Loghain has the battle plan to the last detail. Still, no blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. If we don't break the horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the king nor the Tern really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. You want to ask me about something else? I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? Then let's get a move on, shall we?